ready, I can unpause and we can continue where we left off. <laughs> where, where were we? We? Uh, you were just you were just being protected while fighting the explodey rats so it's to stop the candle going out and now you want to enter the kitchen. No you don't. <laughs> if, if you want if you want to progress, you you want to. <laughs> Yeah, we've, spent, we've been. We've got no other room to go into. We have to have a look <laughs> in here because we're missing something we need. I remember that much. We went around there for else and we couldn't find what we were looking for. So whatever we're looking for has got to be in here because we couldn't find like the things in the basement, but we couldn't get into wherever the room is. Well, the key is we're looking for. Yeah. You, so you were currently you were wanting to get the bedroom key, but to be fair, there is yeah. things you haven't looked at in rooms you've already been in as well to be fair but <laughs> we'll see what happens so you've unlocked the door mm -hmm. <laughs> somebody else opened the doors I tried to open it and it got closed no. again there we go sorry we open the door do we have to roll initiative or is there a turn order well or you as you enter the kitchen you hear Helen from somewhere, she's obviously not going to come in because you've got the candle, but you hear, okay, Marcy, Gwen, why don't you show our guests a good time? And then, yep, it is roll initiative time. Once I get these to start, Hoogie McDoogie, there we go. Okay. Forgotten how to roll initiative. It'll be on the the sheets somewhere near the top, I'd imagine. Sure, that's long rest. No, no, no. Push and save. It's the second in from the left on the top boxes. Oh, yeah, thank you. I see yeah. it. <laughs> Anyone? Anyone in? Actually, I'm in double figures. It's the first time I've hit double figures in a long time. <laughs> Normally, I'm like six. <laughs> well regardless um, having been told what to do by Helen Marcy instinct instinctively reacts first and goes to attack the nearest player mm -hmm. I don't want to move both of them silly sausage I haven't deselected both of them there we go uh, so she's going to move over and attack Uh, Lily. Lily, yeah. And that will be a short sword attack. Well, it's technically a cleaver, but you know. <laughs> yeah. So, normal roll. 16 does indeed hit my AC. Very well. And that does. 4 damage. Well, that all that is, yeah. Then, after that. We'll just go back to actual initiative positions. So, Lily. I'd like to uh, punch the thing in my face. <laughs> I imagine it's a skeleton, yeah? It is the skeletal remains of the people who worked at the manor. Uh, if you. Oh, I didn't want to open bloody Google Chrome. Uh, hang on a sec. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry, since it all happened right at the beginning. Stand in the kitchen are the skeletal remains of the former servants of the Narastrum family. Uh, there is a fire burning in the range and the smell of cooked meat fills the air. It actually smells quite nice. But glancing over, you see that it is slices of large rats being seared at the moment. The door to the pantry hangs open and is filled with rotten perishable goods. But the floor is made of fine wood, but has been entirely stained red with blood. Nice. I will. Oh, where blows? I only got one key point left. Right, I'm just gonna do uh, two attacks. <coughs> my normal, my normal arm strike plus my bonus action as an arm strike. Oh, be dokey. My normal. Thirteen to the AC. It does indeed. And that is five damage. Very well. And 
my bonus action is to make another on arm strike. Uh, just, I don't think Ace is going to hit his AC. Nope. No. That one is a miss. And that is my turn. Very well. And that moves on to Garrick. Well, I think I have two more turns before I can do you say that every time. Um, <laughs> I like it. So I think I shall go for the um, completely unpredictable um, Aldrich Blast on the, is the one right in front. The one in front is the skeletal remains of Marcy. Marcy. Yep. Uh, I can say, if you move here, if you were to move here and attack diagonally, would that hit both of them? It would very well do, I would imagine. Ooh. That would miss. <laughs> It would miss both of them. <laughs> it was worth a shot. <laughs> Is that your turn? Not only does he miss, he hits the wall behind him. <laughs> um, oh, thank you. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, that's it. That's All that moves on to railing. Okay. <coughs> railing will... How big the light? In here? Where's the magic light end? I'm assuming the second one's in the darkness. Uh, you're currently standing outside of it. Okay, well, I'm not going to get into any much further things, so if I'm damned either way, I'm going to pull my, out my magic sword and I'm going to charge towards the other one, screaming in terror. But really, I, if anyone asks, it's successful, it was a war cry, and I was being brave and not cowardly. <laughs> I know she'll come for me. I'm okay with it. <laughs> It'll make things interesting. I want to find out what she does and how bad it is. Because <laughs> we need to find out. Uh, I might hit. Yes, yep, my, that hits. I really want the sleep glow to be stronger. Oh my gosh! No, I did really well. Well. I, I, I shot myself. <laughs> oh, <you're laughs> oh, I got it! I played good! Um, <laughs> I sat there, it's fine! I don't know what happened, and I guess I pulled my ball back out. <laughs> I've put her in the initiative, but Helen doesn't follow initiative. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's okay, I want to know what she does. I have, I, know, I have another way of fixing myself, depending on who that's the I'll find out. Wouldn't touch the one she does apparently. Alright. Okay. Eighteen. Me. I'm gonna say yes because I'm little. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how shy she was. That would have. That would have been more fair. No. Holy mind. pants. Twenty-two. <laughs> that's okay. a bit. That's a bit harsh. <laughs> that's fair. So, uh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, that's do, you, fine. Do, do you have any more movement to get back into the light? <laughs> I don't know. For, probably not. I mean, it's like over here and I came in, so. Yeah, 20. Yeah, 20. Uh, 25. I don't know, does that count as the light? Where's the light exactly? Well, that's just. Wait, you can Where's see the, the light. It's a, that light that's around Garrick. That is your. Candlelight. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, yeah okay. that would be like just in the edge of it. Yeah. So that would be alright. Okay. So yeah, I can just make it to there. Yes, I would recommend. Um, <laughs> I back up. I'm like, what? And then we're screaming louder. Wasn't it here? Yeah. I go. Yeah. That would be. Um. Yeah. And then I do that. Mhm. Mm 
Okay. Now, that thing, if it has a reaction, can take an attack of opportunity on me if it wants to, the one that I ran away from, unless I killed it. Which no. <laughs> She's very fucking damaged, but uh, no. Uh, but she uh -huh. does just stand there and she's kind of quaking in her boots. She's reluctant yeah. to attack. So after that, it is Marcy. Like, is, she, is she an ally? That would be weird. Uh, Marcy is That's going to attack mm -hmm. Garrick. She's got a whopping cleaver, so attack. Uh, oh, normal. Uh, I'd imagine that does not hit. <laughs> oh well, uh, that goes on. Skeleton Gwen again. She is just. <laughs> uh, moves on to Gwen, she is still quaking, she's not wanting to engage, so that moves on to Hick. Hey, um, I'm going to try and get um, Marcy. Sorry? That one's Marcy. Marcy. Oh, No, no, just roll it because. Wait. <laughs> there you go, yeah. Uh, well, the first. Oh, hang on. 14. Yeah. Uh, yep, 14 would hit. For 5 damage. Right. Back up to the top of initiative, you hear Helen say to Gwen, she goes, Gwen, you work for me. Cut our guests into ribbons. She's still quaking, doesn't want to do it. If you look over to her, you see that she's holding onto a uh, locket around her neck. But she still is forcing herself not to obey Helen at this point in time. So, uh, Lily, you're up. Um, I move here and look towards uh, Marcy. Is it Marcy? Yeah. This, this is Marcy, yeah. No, no, that's so Gwen. Look Mar Gwen's the right, one at the top. Look Gwen and hold up a hand and just say, um, you should keep... Sorry. I can't remember the accent of those. <laughs> 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 So you're doing a persuasion check? Um, yeah, yep. but I'm not going to attack. Even if I fail, I'm not going to attack... Um, right. Uh, what's her name? Because Gwen. She is attacking, mm -hmm. but I don't think Oh, that that's Marcy. <laughs> I'm not going to attack either of them, is right. what I'm saying. Okay. I don't think that's going to help my persuasion, and I don't think that's what my character would do. Very well. Uh, yeah, persuasion. Do I... No, I just normal roll, I suppose. Do I get advantage because she's more inclined to do what I've told her? To do. Not necessarily because she's like having inner turmoil with herself. She, like she doesn't want to fight, but she knows what will happen if uh, yeah. if she con I constantly know. disobeys Helen. Yeah. Plus, I stabbed her really, really good. I didn't realize she would make friendly. Uh, twelve. That's twelve. I don't think she is friendly. I just don't think she wants to do. I'm trying to convince her not to do what she wants to do. Uh, no, despite your efforts, you can you can see she's like the thoughts there, but she's in too much inner turmoil to actually obey either or. <laughs> uh, so is that your turn currently? So what do you think, team? 
as a bonus action, seeing that wouldn't work, do you think as a bonus action I should take um, an unarmed strike to the skeleton between us? Might as well. I mean, we know the one that was surrounding yeah. is violent. Okay. So as a bonus action, I will take a strike. Very well. Oh, blast him into brawl with advantage because we're definitely splanked. <laughs> uh, does, 13, does 13 hit? Uh, 13 does hit, so you don't even need the advantage. <laughs> Well, I, I mean, I, I was going to say, unless you roll another one to see if you get critical, but uh, 13 definitely does it. No. <laughs> I didn't know. I can roll normal damage. Yep. Yeah. My advice is, if you get a chance to go what we call crit fishing, go crit fishing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's not fishing so much as I really genuinely meant to roll with advantage because of the situation yeah. that was within the rules uh, for damage. Yep. Puts it down to that. Uh, but yeah, it's Garrick's turn now. You can certainly try. <laughs> like when I was running Rick and Morty where I had the PDF copied and pasted so I could open the PDF on two different pages at the same time. No. <laughs> I had different files so it opened twice. Oh, there we go. And 14 does indeed hit. Yay. Boop, boop. Oh. Boop, boop. Oh, course it was, yeah. Three ah, damage. Were you aiming not to hit? Um, uh, uh, I, complete, I keep getting mixed up because of all skeletons. Sorry, I thought I had uh, the the highlight name for everybody when you ha when you hovered over them, but I don't mind. Maybe I've just got it for me. No, it must just be. But that's not a really important. The little skeletons. When is at the back, surely? Yeah. Oops. <laughs> um. Why is that not doing anything? Oh, hang on. There we go. Yeah, uh, so Marcy's down to that. And although she didn't partake in the fight, Gwen has died. <laughs> well, uh, died died again. <laughs> uh, I feel conflicted about this emotion that I just destroyed someone who's already dead, but <laughs> I did at, at least offer the hand of friendship first. So that moves down to Raylan. Okay, so what have I got left? Uh, Okay, ooh, that's really weird that the one that was not close. Okay, cool. Um, so for my bonus action, I'm going to do my second wind. Okie dokie. Okay, so I don't know if that's properly on my sheet. It's probably not, but it's on my sheet. To be fair, you yeah, haven't adjusted your health for the, what you took before. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. <laughs> it's annoying as I'll get it off d and Beyond. Cosma, I got a PDF. I got a cheat sheet PDF, which is really good when you learn them. Yeah. But as a result, you can't copy and paste stuff off it. Mm. Because it's a PDF, <laughs> but it fills in loads of bits and pieces for people. And uh, you get them off drive through RPG, like an editable on class thingy. So that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and okay, I, and I, I know second win. Once you get off drive through RPG, my favourite side that I spend way too much time surfing around. <laughs> Okay, so where's the dice? Oh, screw it, I know what I'm doing. I just keep finding a bunch of stuff, I'm like, I'll never play this, I'll never use it, but I really want it. Oh yeah, it's just gorgeous. It's like, this looks really cool, and then you like, you have to take a step back and go. You know got 11 health back. That's not bad, that puts me back together again. I'll take that. Ha! You can put my shield, you can just play it on. Got half your health back, because you took 22 points of damage. 
Right, so I turn around and I'll see if he's stab any of the other one that's right there. Oh, okay. Uh, but having just kind of been like, I guess like, want to like hype myself up, I don't know what wrestling means, but I think it's like a Bandy Savage thing or something, which is a meme. I couldn't know. <laughs> I probably am, but I just kind of hyped myself up and like somehow, like just through sheer adrenaline and force of will, I give myself basically like, um, you know, a second win. So <laughs> like, you just see me shake off like all that bitch, that horrible bitch stuff that Harry gave me. Why? Like, and you just kind of see me shake some of it off and I get regain 11 health. Um, why have I lost my sword? I don't cry. I've actually generally lost my sword, that is it. How, how the hell have you lost your sword? <laughs> I don't know! It's okay. Yeah, I can figure this shit out. I can finally be typing it. <laughs> oh my Please god. Please put in an ad for Bandy Savage. Oh, Bandy Savage. 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 One-handed, so it's D8 plus. Oh, one-handed cocky, aren't we? Five. Round. Two, 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 two,
It's 2d4 plus 2 for a normal one. Um, can Garrick find mine? <laughs> I got a zero, he got 21. <laughs> I will. I will allow that. I'll let him find a, f a second one. <laughs> That's it. Entirely depends on whether Garrick wants to give it to Lilio. <laughs> oh, no, I, 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 I'm. I will not I didn't see anything. So I will not punish you in character for something you do. So if you decide to hide one of them, I will not. Like, I'll not be annoyed because in character I wouldn't know, and I don't think. That's meta gaming. If I start acting annoyed that you've done something that I wouldn't know about, then that will be a meta gaming. And therefore. I'm not going to be annoyed. <laughs> Me, Bob, is not going to be annoyed at you, Quinn, for doing that. If you want to do that, if you think your character would do that, I'll just say your character was that disgusted by all the rotten flesh and dead rats and stuff in there that you didn't even notice anything because that's all you were looking at. It's like, oh, this yeah, room's disgusting. <laughs> Probably move over here and look at the fire for a bit. <laughs> you hear it. Hear the rats cooking away. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to make a constitution check to see if I throw up. <laughs> Fair enough. Ah, uh, 15, is that high enough not to throw up? I would imagine so, yes. <laughs> I just look, look, look. It's not smell it, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently it smelled quite nice, it's just you noticed that it wasn't fit for human consumption. <laughs> I am... Um, the rats, I don't have a problem with rats. It's just the, the blood all over the floor and the awful and crap. Uh, so I send it myself, you know, I say my prayers and, like, readjust. And, uh, I look over here to see if there's any fresh rat. Because, <laughs> you know, don't care. I'll, I'll imagine you should, uh, backtrack. I imagine we would go to... I trust you to lose all together. Yeah, have we actually checked the kitchen to see if there's anything other than two random zombies in here and the that? Well, well, you rolled investigation, and the only thing you found was the, the wait, no, yeah. you, you found the locket. Uh, yeah. This is so kind of your key item. Yeah, so, that's fine. Wow. Right, I don't know if we have done what we haven't done, but we're still trying to find the key, find out how, how to get into the extra super secret bit mm -hmm. of the basement where apparently the shrine is, according to the bed, or whatever the hell. You haven't been in this room. No. Well, no, you, so you come out. We haven't been in this closet, have we? Is that why it's really The closet's got a monster in it, according to the little kid. Oh, yeah. Well, the little oh, kid, like, Joshua, has little appeared. Little He's appeared in. <laughs> he appears briefly and says, It's dangerous in the closet, but there's an item that you need, and it's in there. And then vanishes. Maybe, uh, what was it called? Joshua. Yeah. Maybe Joshua can be a little more fruity in his language when he describes us to get the plot for the moment. The reason why you need to do this before we were last for him, wouldn't it help for this? He did. Well, he didn't know. He's, only, he's obviously been reading a dictionary and used the word item rather than the word trinket or treasure. Yeah, man. He basically. Yeah, basically, he told us there was something in the closet, but he also said something like, "But there's a monster in the closet, but there's also some like my treasures in the closet." And because he's a little kid, it's like his treasure could be his favorite blanket, or it could be like a yeah, actual thing. Saying, yeah, yeah, because my kids pick up from a sea glass. It's fascinating. Which is cool, but it's not the, the Before we do, you never answer my question if your. Uh, if Garrick would have hidden the health potion or given it freely. That's the only damage you take. Pardon? Um, Depends how much damage I take. No, I just wanted to know. So I'm not going to... I want to put it in my inventory. I'm not going to use it now because I'm at 14 or 21. But I know it's an abstract concept and I really shouldn't think about that. <laughs> like, in myself, I would deal... I'm not on my last leg. I'm not about to heal over. So I wouldn't have asked for any health potion or did you ask for anything. I would have seen you. I would have seen... Maybe seen something, maybe I wouldn't, but I wouldn't ask for it, so. The idea I, I, I had was, when needed, I shall come to the heroic save and chuck you a health potion when you well, need it most. I, the no, idea is you act within character, <laughs> yeah, to, you know, you do what you feel is you must as your character. Which sounds super passive aggressive, but it's genuinely not. I know some, it's I know you I need to fumble it right at the last second and drop it. Oh. 
Alcohol is one of those things you don't, you don't really have to roll to pour it down someone's throat. It, I think it's taken as given. You're not gonna. It's not a within uh, Mr. Bean co sketch comedy. Where it's like, everyone's <laughs> tripping. Well, well, my character is based on Mr. Bean, so. Mr. Green is a blue dragon ball. Yeah. He's undercover, man. You're never going to see it coming. That's the plan. He, he, he's an alien from the DMV galaxy who came to Earth one day because he got bored and couldn't figure out how humans work. Right, so Liddy uh, walked into the room, sort of like, you know, tensed and ready. A uh, run ready attack action. Okay. Hang on a second. I'm just if I if I move to a square outside the light, just tell me before I move there. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean to. I always mean to move within the light. How come there's only three of us? Not now. <laughs> who's, who's the best to open, open the door? I will, because I'm the front liner, because I'm the one with the fists, and I'm also ready to attack action in case anything appeared that was violent. As you open the door from the like ceiling of the cupboard. There's a squishy sound and flip <laughs> as it hits the deck, and there is a terror spirit. So again, it's time to roll for initiative. <laughs> Can I do my unarmed strike before we do initiative? I'll let you take that. I mean, roll your initiative. I'll just let you take your thingy first. Whoa, flip! 22, I'd be worried if that didn't hit its, its AC. <laughs> that does not hit its AC. Ha, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's exploding damage. Okie dokie, that's down to that. And I imagine no one is different that I haven't sell that yet. Flash, guys. Lima, Lima, Carrisford, is it going to move it? Move it. Move it. <laughs> Sorry, we're watching Madagascar too many times. Right, there we go. So, <laughs> top of the initiative is Raylan. Ah, someone, two seconds. My Google went down. Um, ah, I'm going to stab it with my stabbing sword. Uh, I'm not there at the moment because I got to reboot my Google. No. <laughs> but I'm telling you what I'm doing. I will move up. To, I will move. I can move up to that way around the light because how it's got a yes, touch. And I'm stabbing it with my stabbing sword. I'm going to be back in a second. I swear to God, if you don't let me in, I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> like, that should hopefully get me in. Let me back. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Just this out in the in post. <laughs> Just ignore this. Fix it in post. We're back. Oh, we're and uh, thinking, back. what shall I do in this moment? I'm having to have a quick reaction. You take five minutes to yeah. contemplate what to That's do now. Statistic. To make the agenda throw bad beards. Right, there's some here now. Oh, that's the the world. Oh. Yes, yes. I'll the hair. <laughs> I'm wrong. Oh. You think I'm doing it, actually? Oh, hell yeah, that hits. <laughs> yeah. Then I don't think I need to do No, that's only fit. This is me, I can do that. So, damage is. <sighs> Yet. For damage. Oop. God damn it. Gun. I'm only moving this because that's what Lily. we're doing. Lily? Uh, Lily will, anticipating the ranged attacks are about to come out from his two compatriots. I'll take a disengage action so that I can move away from it without it taking an attack of opportunity against me. Okay. And move to there. Very well. And that will be... I would normally take a bonus action to... Uh, nope. Because I can't make an unarmed strike. That was the whole point. <laughs> Hang on a second. 
if I'm there, can I take a bonus action to do an unarmed strike and then as my normal action disengage and move away? Uh, disengage is, is that a bonus action? No, oh, the bonus action is your attack. Unarmed strike because I'm a monk. Yeah. Uh, well then, yeah, I'd imagine so. Use your bonus uh, bonus action before your normal action. Yeah. Uh, that hits. Uh, four damage, and then disengage. Yep. As my action, rather than attacking, and then move as my move action. Very well. Um, Hick. I don't know if I make a mistake on the rules. You have to help me because you you know the rules better than I do. Okay. <laughs> I just think about story um, encounters and stuff in interesting situations, not in rules. Yeah, the rules are away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move over here. Yep. And I'm gonna attack him with my cookie stick again. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> yep, that's a hit. Ooh, seven. Not bad. Then that's my turn. Oh yeah, why did you just hit over get your fire? I don't understand. It's got a... Uh, fire? Um. Fucking... Which you can cast in and then you use it in more than one direction. Right, my maths is terrible. <laughs> there we go, get onto that. And no, then... Really oh. Onto the Terror Spirit. Now the Terror Spirit... Can give off this aura, terrible to behold. Uh, any any creature who starts off within 15 feet of the terror spirit is able to see, or who is able to see the terror spirit's eyes. The terror spirit can magically force it to make a DC 10 Wisdom saving throw, unless the terror spirit is incapacitated. On a failed save, the creature is frightened for one minute. Frightened creature, blah blah blah. Now all that. <laughs> uh, once you've became immune to it, like once you've complete their uh, thingy you save like you've done it uh, you were not able to be terrified by it for 24 hours so I would say uh, from now on if you want to not look in the direction of it when you're attacking you're going to probably have to attack with disadvantage because because you're not looking at it and just like hoping to hit <laughs> uh, yeah. but it will also would those two, given us two, can we all four of us? We're obviously well within fifteen feet. Yeah. Um, we'll start starting our turn. Are we able to see the spirit's eyes? The two, the two of us are at the back, me and um, me and Garrick. Because there's two people in front of us, and they might be blocking that view. You're allowed to. Yeah, the the the, the view was probably b blocked at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, but you will have to avert your eyes and stuff in future. Uh, but he will also make an attack on Raylan. And it misses. Okay. <laughs> so, back to Garrick. I was going to say different, but there's two people in the way now. <laughs> um, you can hold your does action. It rhyme with, it's does it rhyme with Streldritch for last? No, not at all. Mm -hmm. But it's got. I was going to do something it's now different now. There's two people in the way. It's got a ten foot um, radius spell. Ah. It means no matter ah. where I, I can do it within the room, it's going to hit one or both of um, uh, Ren and, and Hick. Could you hold that action, that attack, and if they were to move out of their way on their turn, you could then do that attack? Would that be within the rules? Right, so you're holding and moving on to the next in the line? Mm -hmm. Right, in that case, it is Raylan again. So I'm going to stab it first and then I'm going to get out of the way because I've been told that something cool is going to happen. <laughs> a 
Wouldn't that leave you with an opportunity, an attack of opportunity, I mean? I mean yeah, but... It, it, won't, it, it, it won't be outside five feet, will it? Because it's, it, it's a sidestep from where you currently are. It so depends that. on the reach of the creature attacking me. If it's got a reach that goes beyond five feet, that, and I'm still within its reach, it can't get me. So it's almost like a ten foot reach, but you know? Does it hit? It does. Okay, cool. I'm gonna make you cry. <laughs> I'm not gonna make you cry that much. <laughs> Nine. I'm gonna hit him, and then I'm gonna move back because I've been told to fall back. So I'll do that. Another nice thing when he gets one attempt to like one reaction so it can go for me or can or depending on Hick gets back and go for Hick um if Hick wants to um but yeah if it's going to attack Oops. me let me know because I mm. might be able to slack it again but it will have an opportunity of attack on you because you moved bed that's okay bed. That. if it gets me don't care bed Actually, Sorry, Helen, you, you sort of cut out for me when you were saying what I, what I could do. Well, oh, that okay. won't take your ear seat. Right, <laughs> well, I didn't declare that one, so I can't, but I might declare the other one, depending on what it gets me. Oh, mm. uh, what? Sorry. Ah, uh, it misses me with an eight. Yep. <laughs> I'm that master fighter, so I'm uh. going to put these in because I keep forgetting I've got two of them. Which are the two, which are the ones that have been most relevant so far, at the mm. moment I'm hitting them. <laughs> so, I'm going to, yeah, I say this, I watch me start with them. So I'm going to do repose, which as I'm going away, it tries to punch me in the head and miss it. So I'm just going to turn around with my sword and try and blackhand it, which is another post one. <laughs> from a battle master. Okay. Well, you're remembering um, you'd, you've got to do it without looking yeah. in its eyes, so you're doing it with disadvantage. That's fine with me. <laughs> And yeah, this will be fun. <laughs> it's worth it anyway, right? So oh, you I'll got your longsword back. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah I, it only had to crash my system to get it to work again, so it went out great big. 18 to hit? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh! So, oh, hang on, I like this more. I say this more. It's more. There's more damage. <laughs> I've never played a battle that was as bad as me. There is 16, 16 damage. 16 that, damage. Holy well, considering yeah, I've never played a battle master, I think that's slightly good. Considering it had six health left, you rend it in twain, and it collapses. <laughs> Into what looks like a giant pile of fleshy bubble gum and dissolves away. <laughs> so technically, because I said to move, I helped win the battle. <laughs> By <Exactly>. doing nothing. <laughs> That's how you move. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't sit, you can't go to the orchestra, right? And it works. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're the battle master. Aren't you supposed to be telling us what to do and like commanding yep. movements? There's no other battle master does. It's actually one of the specific options for Battlemaster is maneuver. You can hit someone, then they just use your reaction to go, smack them! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, honestly, Quinn's green screen is, is, is hiding something because I keep seeing hints of somebody in, the, in no, no, one camera no, no, in the background of no, no, one no, no. camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, considering Joshua give you a hint that something is in there. You search in the closet, there is a dead body. Oh, hello, Oh, what? <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's Jamie. It's Jamie. Hello, everybody. <laughs> we are doing, we are being weeds. Yeah, cool. Right, so since you were told that there is something in there for you to feel, not make your role investigation or anything, you search inside the closet. There is another dead body 
where the the, the terror thing used to be it's dissolved away now uh, the body is of Father Oswin uh, oh. searching round in the body wait the cloven of the body you find a key to the master bedroom Ew. Oh. would the master bedroom be upstairs? nope Where's the, old, where's the other locked door that you knew there was a locked door? <laughs> that you all tried to do something, you tried to pick it, Raylan tried to kick it, and both failed terribly. <laughs> I think it's right. the one that you this, above this, us this, this, this is where we come into something called not metagame, but character knowledge and player knowledge. So, us as players have spent two weeks not doing something. Yeah. Us as characters who literally did this about half an hour ago and therefore wouldn't have forgotten. I think so please can you tell can you remind us of stuff that our characters wouldn't tell oh, yeah. but we as players can't I'm remember. Really Thanks sure. Thanks for reminding us about that by the way. Um because I done the wrong thing there. Shots in the foot. Your candles ran out. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's like so again, we as, we as characters would have noticed it getting lower, and therefore, does he have to roll to light the second candle he has? We happened in two fights. I could argue and say maybe we're fumbling. Thank well, you for shooting us in the foot again. <laughs> I'm just pointing out I can go either way on the. Uh, on, the well, there. you do have another candle with about half an hour left of of, uh, of wax, so you might want to light it so, <laughs> before you Helen attacks you. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. 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 We use we use okay, characters. It's, it's, it can also got is about to go out. It's still lit, so I can just light the new candle with the yeah. Other. We would have we very well. Is it reasonable that we would have done that? Yes. Do we need to tell you we did that? Yes, you need to tell us you did that. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean like. As a general rule of thumb, and this is across many game tables I've played on, most DMs will say if you don't declare it, either in character or out character, it doesn't happen. But I imagine you would have been noticing it go. I mean, it's the thing that's keeping us alive. That's a bit like saying we walk down a we walk down into a dark dungeon. We've got a torch. Do you light the torch? Yes. Well, you you oh, relight it out, regardless. Whether it, whether it be by relighting it with the one that uh, just before it went out or whether you use the fiery hands of Hick or uh, whatever, uh, you light the candle and you hear a... <sighs> Where did you find that? <laughs> and then she fades away, absolutely sick of I, these okay. stupid holy candles. <laughs> Can we go... Whatever that room that was locked that you just described, I imagine it was in the basement. And if, I'm, if I, if I, as a character, no, person, I'm wrong. The, what the bedroom? I think it's literally yes. here, above us, the north. I think it's literally here. the one that we can't get through. North, east, north, northwest. Like literally, it's the what? Yeah, this one. I don't know how to move it. Yeah, that. Right, yeah. Just done something. Okay. Yeah, I've just moved you. Yeah, it's locked. <laughs> yes. Yeah, thank you. But I've, it is now not because you've used the key. I, as a character, would not. I as a character wouldn't forget that, but me as a player, because I haven't been here for two weeks. I'm yeah. Not. I'm not <laughs> forgotten. That's not forgotten. Anyway, um... Woo! Flip. It's open now. That looked all right. I just looked stupid. Shall we proceed thusly? Well, you got to be stopped doing. So... Yeah. I would mm, feel like I look stupid. Well, it'd be better if it was black. Right, <laughs> right, so you enter the room the and you hear Helen again, but this time much more sad. And you hear her go, <sighs> He loved his books even more than he loved his wife. Sounds familiar. Possibly. Except not books. <laughs> So, you so have. The going through the drama as well, is he? Sorry, what? So the EM's going through the same drama, is he? No, I'm just getting griefed. <laughs> Don't grief the DM. <laughs> when you finally have a game where it's all make bad things happen to you. <laughs> I thought just because we can't definitely dodge us, that doesn't mean that other people. Not 
Right, so if you want to investigate the room, you know what to do. Ah, uh, did you do? I will roll my magic dice rock. My word, honestly. Jesus! No, it's just a worse roll. Oh, God! Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> right. So, Raylan is the only one that notices anything. <laughs> but you yeah. do notice uh, there is. Who's what? Who's that? Sorry. Raylan? Yeah, sorry, Who's... I, I didn't notice anyone here. I'm the power of the dwarves! <laughs> I didn't notice, I'm afraid. Yeah, bad roll. Right, you notice a chest of drawers that looks like may Ooh. contain anything of use. And also, you notice a safe. I have is a bat box. I can't see what? I can only see like one skip of room and nothing else. Oh, that's why we haven't moved from where we are because they can't see anything. Oh, shit. Why? But at least you can see in here for now. I think. Uh -huh. can't, can you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Uh, so you're, you're looking in the chest of drawers, yes? Yes. Uh, you come across Helen's diary. Uh, it is entirely up to you whether you read the diary, but you are aware that the, if you read the diary, that is going to burn up a little bit of time on your candle. I can, uh, I can, I can walk and talk. I'm taking it off. We would have moved over to the safe because that's the only other thing of interest in here. I roll a 60 to try and crack it or do something with it, you know. Um, mm. I'll pick it up. Probably the combination. I don't know. How am I supposed to keep up with you when you're doing everything all at the same time? <laughs> well, I Not don't know how long it would. You decide how long it would take to uh, to crack the safe while she reads the diary. While I try and crack the safe. Because I have to. Say, <sighs> okay, then know. if you're if you're trying to crack the safe, you notice that the safe has. Uh, if I can remember rightly, I think it's. Uh, nine, nine indentations. Uh, oh man. Uh, 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 uh. Good idea. Would make it up on the spot. Did you find anything else that you picked? Uh huh. Oh, if you want to try and pick it, I'll let you try and pick it then instead of solving an intricate friggin' puzzle. <laughs> was that what it was? Well, I said that's why I rolled a 16, if that's enough. For, for the sake of fucking expediency. Uh -huh. <laughs> right, so no, what, the 6? Where you, if, you, if the 6 is you're picking 16. it. Oh, 16. Right, okay, yeah. I'll allow that. <laughs> Otherwise, we might be here for a while, because who's to say how long it's going to take the four years to work out the puzzle. <laughs> but as you open the safe... A, there is a glyph that lights up and it is a spell that releases these little protectors they're folded up like origami and they're shaped like a mage a fighter like a, a, a warrior and a, an a, a archer are they, made of paper? they are made of paper okay. <laughs> Oh, bollocks, I didn't end the last combat. Hang on a sec, I'll just end that and then reinitiate that. There we go, there's all their initiatives. <laughs> oh, green's probably moving the dice. And obviously, since you opened the safe, I'd imagine everybody is a damn sight friggin' closer. You're not getting this bloody get far away malarkey. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to smoke, but I'm like buying a bin that I was like, I was just doing it. And I'm like, oh my god, he's got to see me in the mess of it. Right, we're just waiting on Hick to roll initiative, I think, are we? Yep. Oh, <gasps> shit. There we go. What did he? Stuck yourself. Oh, it's stingy. <laughs> mm. Right, begin combat. So, top of the initiative, Garrick. Yep, I shall do 
exactly what I wanted to do last time. Ha ha! Not a good, not um, uh, not a good idea. Cast, no, is a good idea. <laughs> yeah, Smash and plan. Cast, cast uh, on this guy here. Yep. Um, so ten foot would cover everyone, and it won't quite hit. Um, won't quite hit. 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 There. Don't put. No, we Cast. Got to make a save and throw. DC thirteen. Fourteen thunder. So is this one of them ones that's like half and half the amount if the yeah, succeed the if save? They, yeah. Yeah. If they uh, if, if they succeed, they take half. If they fail, they take the whole back. No, we don't. We. Boom! This says a creature made of inorganic matter, such as stone, crystal, or metal, has disadvantage on saving throw. Do you, you said it made the paper basically? Yeah, the the paper warriors. I wouldn't class that as one of the things. No. It's not. It's basically a hard substance because the shatter is like sound. Paper is just. Well, that one fails. It's flexible. That one fails. If there's any, if there's any that one fails. <laughs> oh, that one succeeds. So how many is that I've done now? One, two, three, four, two more. And if there's any non magical items within area, they can also take damage there. And that one succeeds. Okay, uh, well, if that's the case. Oh. They really didn't think this through having paper fucking people. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> one shot wipe, nice. Jeez, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> hey, even seven damage is enough to destroy them. So yep. I remember the ones who were past the half. Uh, because the majors didn't uh, succeed with the thingy, even their full health would have been took out by that. <laughs> yeah, anything different? Oh well, Why there you go. Going? That's that done. <laughs> Whilst that was happening, could they have been in the background, like <clears throat> flipping? Imagine he's flicking through the journal now as we go from place to place, just like trying to speed read it and flickering like, as he chases the, the, the whichever room we're going to next. Right. That's fair enough, if you were, because since you didn't actually use your, uh, didn't actually get involved in the fight, I will have it so that you can read the diary. I'll just find the bloody actual diary. There it is. Mm -hmm. yeah, no. In the top drawer, Helen's dresser is a small black diary. She was using it for multiple years, and examining the texts, her slow descent into madness is reflected in the writings. Um, she can no longer handle being a proper lady, and wants to break free from this life, but sees no way out. Uh, on, so, on some of the last pages, the text becomes jagged and scribbled, barely legible. Uh, it's almost as if another person was writing it. In the final pages, Helen mentions a book she found in... A town, uh, in town, sorry, uh, from a shady looking fellow. It was called Demons and Devils, a Summoner's Guide. The diary details her efforts first summoning an imp that nearly got loose before she managed to beat it to death with the book itself, uh, taking a life awoken something within her, and the demon's blood awoke something in the book. The book spoke of her spoke to her and told her of a special crawl space off the hidden basement room. With Within this hidden space, she's constructed a runic circle and made a deal with a demon to give herself the strength needed to put an end to all the things holding her back, to, to finally find the courage to leave or kill her abusive, ungrateful husband. It was easy. It was an easy deal to take, but she did not realise how deep her hatred ran. Do you, um, do you think we can get a, make a deal with God <laughs> to get her to switch our places? Probably not. <laughs> Stop running up that hill. Stop running yeah. up that hill. We aren't going to be running up any hills. I have work tomorrow. So, yeah. So. so she wants to break free from this life. That sounds like really good lyrics for someone. Mm, 
Indeed. You know, don't stop me now, you know. Yeah, well, well we we're having a good time. We're having some fun. Yeah. We are. Um, I, I need I think, to find I need to find the next that, room. It would have taken some time to read that upon me as we were walking. We uh -huh. would have like we would have moved as a group out of here. Yeah. Yeah, I was basically walking by trying to reading it aloud so and because look well, we know she's like right there in the shadows when she to go out, so I don't think it'd be any miles by me for greater states and I just read that too as we were walking through. Basically. Um, so we should head back to the basement. Um, uh, it seems have we got, have we got, it's it's a secret. It's a secret basement exit uh, entrance. It's not. Right. It's not where you yeah. were. It's not a secret. It's not a secret room in the basement where you were. It's a secret basement entrance. Yeah, we've got to figure out. Oh shit, I yeah, really need, I really need to fix oh, so it's like the map. Way down, basically, some, somewhere else. We need to figure out where it is, it's not where we were. We, did, we, we, we all make an intelligence check to see if we would know where that is. Do we, we go into the room in the room left? Don't remember going in that in the room in the very bottom left. I don't think we did. Oh, it's fucked. Well, it, 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 Justin the thingy yeah. has fucked everything up. <laughs> you need to go. Yeah, yeah, you've went the right way. You haven't been. You haven't had a good look in this study yet, are you? I don't think. No, but the, the map. The map is fucked. <laughs> once we once we're finished, I will have to do some major maintenance to this because the map was knackered. <laughs> so we just imagine. I mean. I know I don't want you to back through the map because I don't want you to break it and other things. Like you, can still, that, you can still you can still see in okay. there, but obviously things are un unthingy now, so you can see exactly where. No, like, we can't. You've got can't see it. Oh, yes. oh. Yes. What I'm saying is, oh, it's a we stupid pattern bit. And just say we're in there, okay? I don't think I think we can, you know, stretch our imaginations to what it would be like. We're in a study. Yeah. It's a shame that that had to happen, but never mind. It's been a good run up until then. <laughs> no, no, you know, technical there are worse things that can happen, trust me. Um, so I guess we all should have a look around and see if uh, these books, you might have left this book on the shelf here, or, or you know, secret passages, if we just pull all the books and see if anything opens. I need to find the bloody, yeah. there it is. Uh, right, on the far on the far side of the room is a large oak desk. It's finely crafted and seems to be holding up wonderfully, though uh -huh. uh, wonderfully through the years. Uh, there are six large bookshelves, and they are completely packed with various writings. Uh, in between some of the books, there are carved animal statues, decorative candles, and intricate metalworks. There is a small table in the centre of the room with a candelabra and a few empty glasses on them. Uh, on them in particular is more prominent than others. A large iron safe that rests embedded in the stone wall uh, directly behind the desk. Uh, however, you did... Uh, you opened the safe and nobody actually asked about what was in the safe, but I'm going to assume, because things have kind of li went a little bit skew with, uh, that you looked in the safe, there was... 500 gold in coins and jewellery and a book called uh, The Proper Wife Eee gosh So if you would like, you, you are in the study, if you would like to roll investigation hmm. Good way Twenty-one would definitely do it. Uh, you notice on the bookshelves, um, there's one book in particular that it seems more worn than others. Like it's been handled a lot more. Uh, so if you want to do anything with that said book, well, should you give it? Yoink! Yeah, but you, baby, baby. Can I make a religion check to make sure if I like if I know enough about 
demon books of demonology that is safe to handle them or they need to be destroyed immediately or I'm okay to open and read them but just not read out loud you can you can do that if you want yeah can we see a title on the um, book spying it is the perfect wife uh Right, I would say, yep, 17 is totally fine. It's not a cursed book or anything. It's literally a mechanism. As you've took it off the shelf, it opened up a secret entrance leading to a set of stairs going down. Nice. Would I have anything to make a light? And when I say a light, I mean like a small torch. Because I'm anticipating we're about to burn. We're going to have to have some light source to burn a book. I want to be ready to destroy a book at short notice. And have my flame ready. Yeah, uh -huh. please. Can you yeah. Just, <laughs> can you do that thing where you know flames come out of your hands there? Do you think you could do that? I don't see a bit. Good. Ready, because I, I sense this book is purely evil, and I don't see that lightly. Do I need to roll anything for that? Not yet. I don't think we've found it yet. But just as like, just be ready because stuff might go up, kick off when we get down there. In the long Pretty much, yeah. The way to think of it. Aha, there we go. Right, uh, I'm assuming everybody can now see the room you're in. Yeah, because this page isn't fucked. <laughs> right, uno momento, and I will. Uh, tell you what you see. Uh, scattered across the room are various wooden cabinets, each with a combination lock keeping them shut. Uh, on the walls are a dozen paintings, some of these risque and others of foreign leaders. Uh, these paintings uh, would not do well in polite company. Uh, sitting out in the open are a few books dedicated to topics that also don't belong in your ordinary library, um, taking advantage of the poor the basics of blackmail, counterfeiting currency, among others. <laughs> so, you will be led to believe that the Narastrum family were into some shady shit. What absolute assholes. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, yeah, there was one, they're, they're, they're just trying to get ahead. They're good, they're good folks. Yeah, let's deal with this. Right. Uh, so, if you want to inspect the room, investigate. Uh, mm -hmm. Like to roll me investigation, please. <laughs> I do want to know what's going on in this here space because I'm more concerned as to where that crazy lady is with her much texture fabric. Right, what we got? Ooh, 17. Uh, no, that was my check from the previous Oh, you're intelligent as well, all right. Uh, <laughs> Your character's not very good at investigation. Nope. Intelligence based. Yeah, that's what I want to Now we go. So looking for. Right. There we go. Right. Uh, oh. There we go. Right, I imagine 17 would do it. Uh, you notice in the top right of the room, uh, the, there's a, something strange about the stone on the wall. There's some marks, like almost like knuckles. Knuckles. Like knuckles have been hitting it, sort of thing. Oh, right. Not, not, like, it's a, not like it's a fist coming out the wall. <laughs> I was like, nah, that's even worse. No, than I'm doing it. Stranger things flashback. Can I punch the wall as hard as possible with an unarmed strike? I'm like taking a moment to centre myself and drive well, chi. I've only, I've only got one key point left. So can since I, since I we're hard, to... since we're hard so long between thingies, and obviously player player memories aren't what character memories are. You might remember previously hearing. Some form of pattern. Oh, okay. Can we do a haircut? Yeah, I'm going to do a haircut. 
Shaving a haircut is. Uh, what would be a role for remembering something? I suppose it's just history? a flat. F yeah, go on, give us a history check then, everybody. Surely somebody's got to remember. <laughs> no, I'm just not making stuff up, and you know I'm gonna make it look good. I just rolled the wrong thing, by the way. So just ignore me. That's our reason. Oh, hey. You've got twenty, so. Fair enough. That'll that'll work. So you remember being up in Joshua's room and when he wasn't speaking he made a specific knocking noise on the floor like Hello. I do I thought he was like tapping out Morse code <laughs> 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 really so it was two it was two quick knocks followed by two more spaced out knocks that's what you remember you know if you ever get into a situation where you need more scope, dot dot dot, dash dash dash, dot dot dot, that's the most important thing because that's SOS. Exactly, that's why I thought he was doing it. <laughs> yes, oh, okay. So, what do you do with this information? I like, tap it. I look at our mum to go into peak at on the wall because like, that's what mums do. <laughs> okay, so I'd imagine that you do the... I do, do the pattern that you described on the wall. Yep. Yeah. And the rocks slide open, revealing a crawl space. Oi! Let's go, boys and girls and gentlemen. Disco time, disco time. <laughs> and the wall will. Bang, and the dirt is gone. Still at bang. Um, Helen appears, but is. You can tell she's frightened now. And she says, Get out! You aren't allowed here! If I look down, these runes, are they in... Are they drawn? Are they, like, blood or wax? Or is it, like, carved into the ground? That I don't remember. Hold on a sec. There we go, crawl space. Uh, right. Uh, as soon as you... As soon as the stone slides away and the room is revealed, a red light pours out of the basement, but I made it get nice with lots of lights. Uh, looking inside, you see a set of glowing runes on the floor, uh, eight feet in diameter. Lying at the centre of the runes are both Helen's and Joshua's bodies. Both of them are deceased, uh, but there doesn't appear to be any decay or rot as if they had only just been killed uh, not not left here for year, there from years ago uh, the ceiling in this room is much shorter than the rest of the house at only four feet high so railing's okay <laughs> everybody else is stooped <laughs> only four feet high so some of you will have to duck if you wish to enter <laughs> has anyone got so, dying or like a magic that can preserve the dead or do any healing you could be rest. Uh, you could be rest assured that they've failed their death checks. <laughs> they are dead. But as I say, Helen appears. She is scared. She's telling you to get out because you don't belong here. Don't mess with things you don't know about. And she's backed off a bit. And then this lovely fella appears. Holy crap! Oh hi, Bob. Um. Hi. <laughs> Like, hi, we're just a little bit lost, right? So, funny story. I actually came here with a couple of priests, and yeah, this was not a that infestation. I'm just gonna go. Yeah? Okay, then. That's fine. Can I, um, can I make an unarmed strike against the floor to destroy a rune? That's why I asked what it would be. Ah, yes, well, you can. Materials. You certainly can do. Um, if that... So, like I said, is it carved into the ground, or is it is it materials that have been draped? Is it oil or, or wax or something that's been melted into a pattern? Or well, I've just told you the description of the place. It said a set of glowing runes set on the floor, uh, eight feet in diameter. So it's just a rune. It's like like a friggin' stone, like placed specifically, like a pentagram right, type so thing. If I, if I strike it with enough force, I could you could break it. Yeah. To destroy it. Yeah. Yep. I've only one key point left, so if I, oh no, strike is a bonus action, if I spend a key point, 
I can make a flurry of blows, can't I? I have no abilities. Features. Mm-hmm. What's this monster doing in the interim? Uh, like, how uh, do we have if you If you have noticed, I've started an encounter. That's what oh, I thought okay. was going yeah. to be the case. I was going to say, you can, do, you can attack the runes if you want, but you're going to have this guy coming after you as well. <laughs> yes, but uh, as if I do a flurry of blows, that means I get to do two one-arm strikes as a bonus action. Given it's I'm attacking the floor, do I roll with advantage because it's not moving and it's rather large? Yeah, go on. Yeah. That's two flurry of blow. No, not two flurry of blows. Eight flurry of blows, which is one key point to attack twice. Yep. So I should have attacked this advantage, but whatever, I'll just do four attacks and take the two highest ones. So there are two highest ones. On oh, you nearly got a crit. <laughs> 20 and 19. Uh, yeah, that will definitely hit. For that's seven. seven. Damage. That's four damage. That's eleven damage to the rune. Right. Uh, in that case, that's one rune down. Oops! I just made another oh. one by accident. Hang on. Boop. <laughs> there we go. You've destroyed a rune. Um. I mean, technically. But hang on. Uh, oh, we're waiting for. Oh, we're waiting for Hick to roll initiative again. There we go. Begin combat. So now, Raylan, you're at the top of the initiative. Okay, so. I was too busy looking at the ugly boy to see what Lily was doing at the time because that bite looked scary as hell. <laughs> so, I'm going to... Um, I think it's hard to miss someone punching the floor. You'd be surprised how scared I can be. Yeah. Um, so, I'm going to... Um, is this dude in the light or not? That's actually really important. Is he, like, avoid, is he avoiding the magic candle? Oh, yeah, hang a second. Nope. Um, would any of... Has anything changed? When I destroyed the rune, did anything change, perceivably? The rune broke? You you feel that it may be a source of power? So anyway, I'm like, but that guy, is that guy like avoiding this candlelight or is he kind of just not, doesn't give two tips, doesn't give it like a rat's ass? No, he's not fussed about the candle. Candles specifically. Well, if he's fussed about the candle then, I'm just going to go and I'm going to try and stab him with the funny looking sword and see what happens because we care about the candle, that means there's no point in staying in the candlelight. You well, you, you are aware that Helen's still there though. Yeah. <laughs> but the, but if the thing is though, like, if we all stay together, I'm not saying it's any good either. So I'm just like, oh, that's not... right. right. Um, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying just... to move just my characters. I'm trying to see where the hell the candlelight extends to because it's not very clear. That's why you want to go around us. Wait, it's like it's one and a half that's squares that's round you. <laughs> basically, um. I am going to do evasive footwork, which means I get to improve my AC. Right. So I'm going to roll that first. That's, my, that's a superiority die. Please be a high number. Hmm, seven. Um, so, so my AC has now gone up to 77 is 24. Christ. I'm <laughs> Yep, that's a 
it. Oh, you, you did an attack roll twice. <laughs> Try again. Uh, for a lot of damage. Okie dokie. I'm gonna run back and get back into the light the hell does it get me. And have my girl. <laughs> 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 Don't you take an opportunity attack as you were withdrawn from his. Um, if you wish to do, if he has more than one action, you make sure that something else. You can absolutely do that, but. It's, this is the boss. The boss might have other things that are more cool or more painful to do with his reaction than just black at a random person. Whoop, whoop. Or he's something I'm of. Okay. Well, as you run away, <laughs> he's gonna whip out at you with his beard. That's <laughs> I know what he is now. I'm gonna cry inside. But okay, come at me, bro. Oh Jesus! I've got to hide. <laughs> Six doesn't hit. <laughs> I'm feeling confident for once. I finally used the bloody thing at the right time. I'm that eat that bloody. Right. Uh, so now that's a, that was his opportunity attack. So now. Yep. He's gonna come down here to Lily, and <laughs> he's going to use his glaive. Oh no. Normal attack. Yeah, definitely hits. Oh, 20. <laughs> that's gonna. Uh, uh, so hang on, what's that well, there? If, if the target is a creature other than an undead or a construct, it must hit a constitution saving throw. Yeah. Uh, any creatures that uh, can take an action to staunch the wound with a successful wisdom medicine check. No, I definitely need to fail that. <laughs> And he does 11 damage. Yeah, so this is the, you know how I said before, that I was like, oh, it's fine, I'm not on my last legs. Like, Lily definitely takes mm. a step back, stuffing like a massive gash in the side. I was like, oh. Well, that, 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 that changed quickly. But destroy the runes. Because she doesn't know she's going to survive. She doesn't know anything at the moment, so, you know. She's going to, she thinks it could be her last words. Well. Making sure that the rest of the team know. Once, once you've been attacked by his glaive, every time he attacks somebody who he's already attacked with the glaive, he adds five to the damage. Yeah. I don't know what this is. Uh, so. There we go, Garrick. So uh, he adds five to the damage he does to you. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, well, it's one d. It, it, it adds one d ten, but five is your average. <laughs> it'll be it'll be in the square with both the heads of the corpses in, so it will 
uh, it'll cover the one on the right, the one on the top, yep. and maybe the one on the left, as well as hitting I'll be I mean, you've got a little... Uh... So, oh yeah, I've got a little thing over the... Um, I, know the I know the map may not be perfectly precise because it's slightly off the grid, but... Yeah, there's going to be... Um, that's where I was... Cool. Yep, I'll allow it to hit the top and the right one. I don't think it would do out of the left one. It will just just about trim it on this one. <laughs> right, so we just need to see some stone take us to a same throw. Uh, well, well, we don't want to mildly fail, that's what we said, isn't it? Well, okay, I don't want to speak for the DM, but. Well, 15. Oh, hang on. Uh, wait, he has. Uh, Well, day two, because, yep, he makes the save. He's got, uh, what has he got? He's got magic resistance. That's his, his so he, he has advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects. So yeah. he uh, fin uh, succeeds on his saving throw. So is that half, 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 if, yeah. half of 15? So that's seven. Yeah, yeah. Round yeah. Or do you round up? Is it eight or seven? <laughs> well, I round up. Up, I believe. Isn't it round up in favour of the player? It should tell you the spell, I think. Right, there we go. Uh, also, that damage I'm saying when it loads would have wiped out them two runes. Helen like Helen's them? just screaming at you the entire time to stop what you're doing and, and leave and get out of get out of the mansion. She's not she's not even trying to attack you. She's just want she wants rid of you. She's had enough of you. <laughs> this one's destroyed. This one's destroyed. Yeah, you've got point, you've got you've, you've got two le you've got two left. But, but this one and this one. So that's Lily. Cool. Uh, I will first of all drink my health potion. Is that an action or a free action? I mean, a uh, bonus action. I would probably say a bonus action. Okay, cool. Um, what did you say it was again? I've forgotten. 2d6 or something? 2d4 plus 2, two on it. Plus 2. It's two always. Plus yeah. The plus is always the number of dice you roll, the healing potions. So. That's all hot. Yeah. Where's the normal dice roller in? Oh yeah, it's just slash R or something, isn't it? Yeah, same. we haven't worked yeah, that out yet, so yeah, just do oh. that. <laughs> exactly the same as Little Tony, and pretty much I think everything. Some use exclamation marks, but it's always the same general format. To be fair, I'll have a look. There may be a module that I can install to actually give you a, a, just a random dice roll. Wait, like a, a flat dice roll. Like, like there is Great, on there, uh, thingy. Health. I'm like, there oh, health, I'm doing okay. Uh, <laughs> as that's my, my bonus action, my normal action would be to punch the bearded devil in the face, because I think that's the more threatening threat. <laughs> oh, it's definitely the most threatening threat, you know. Hang on a second, I need to look at my... off the shadow, lad. I don't have any key, but do I have anything that's like, when I punch him, he has to do anything, or is that all key points? That's no, all key, right? If that was yeah, probably a point, point. Well, you can I still do your... But you can do your general bonus action, single strike, just whatever the hell you want, basically. Yeah, that's all. Uh, I've expended my breath weapon anyway. Um, yes. Yeah. Okay. I remember from the early in the session. That was awful. I don't think a natural one hits him. Yep. I've used my bonus action, I've used normal <laughs> action, I haven't got any actions left, so that will be the end of my turn. Okay, and the hick. If you've got spells, <laughs> you consider them. But he does have magical resistance. He does. Which is only, it's only for if the spell has a save and throw. Or, yeah, like, spells that have an effect that need a save and throw. Yeah. 
The only things I've got is produce flame, which I can throw, or do ice knives. Ice knife. Doesn't matter. Um, you can throw it at, at, at the room. That that will cause some damage on the bearded guy, but not hit anybody in the area of it. So what did we say we had this one and this one to destroy? Yeah. yeah if you go. How do you do the shelling that thing? Just hold, click, and hold. Ah, see, so if you go for that one. Then I think it's within the radius of the explosion of the other side. Okay. Isn't that isn't that only five Ice? foot? Or is it? Ice yeah. knife. Uh, it's only a five. Oh, it's only five foot radius. Uh, that won't hit him. I still think it's worth trying to can to. Oh. He'll be back in a sec. He's called it. Right. Okay. If we have. Every time we're in the middle of a conversation. <laughs> yeah, camera's not, but I can hear you. Yes. Okay, so uh, do I do I try it with the ice knives? You can do. It's it's up to you. Yeah, I think it's worth trying to destroy the room because there's a nearest. It's the furthest room away from us, and mm -hmm. there's a room right in front of us, and that's gonna be easy to, for me to just punch or attack on our turn. But right. it won't be easy to get over there without getting an opportunity to attack or something like that. Yes. Okay, fair enough then. In that case, I shall throw my ice knives at the ones furthest from us. Very well. There we go. Then roll the attack. You, you fire it, but it, it it skims by it. It hits off the wall. Uh, if you still do the damage, uh, the the sh the shard bits that come off it could still do the damage though. So roll your damage. Uh, that's a uh, five feet it must succeed a dex out saving throw. Take two D six cold. So do the two D six cold damage and that'll be what can hit the rune. Uh, uh put uh R uh, slash R space is, two D six. Six six is is, is it cold damage. Yeah, because if one D ten is four. If you click on it, you expand the roll. It shows you if ten is made up. Of yes. Oh, did it? Did it together? Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's if, if if you click on the ten, it will give you a breakdown of each one. Piercing for four, uh, and cold for five and one. So six on the gold. Oh. Ah. Right, okay then. Right, oh, fine. It hits the rune. Uh, it wasn't enough to destroy it, but uh, it is cracked. Is that your turn? Yes, that's my turn. Okie dokie. Raylan, you're up again. Alright, so... <sighs> Raylan will move... to here. Yep. Okay. He will try and draw the attention of the devil man. So... On his first attack, he will try and stab him, with the intention being that the guy will be looking at him, so someone else will get the rune pretty much at his feet. Mm, probably not. That misses. He will. Yep. Yeah, he will. But he will use his. It's okay because I have a thing. Oh. Sorry. I have. Precision attack. When you make a roll against a creature, I can expend a thing and add it. Um, okay, so I can roll a d8 to see if I can get him. Okay. Basically. Okay. Please roll high. Probably what not, but never mind. <laughs> and then for my bonus action. Does that does that add to you 11 that you rolled though? Yeah, close to 14. Then yes, that would hit. 
It's a swing and a miss. And he is going to go for you. I am not yet so he's attacking, but you know. And he is going to use multi attack. First attack him. Yeah. Okay. First attack him with yeah. his beard. Okay. Don't know what that is. Oof. Mm -hmm. Nope. That's an attack. Nope. No, because you. Beard. Uh, I was going to say, you've still got. Uh, have you still got like 24 AC now? It's back to 17 now. Ah. Right, okay. But I've still got a respectful AC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Just 17 at 24. Yeah, I, yeah, I could have gone with one. It's quite those stupid people. Yeah, no, he misses with both. Nope. It's a damage he goes up, not his not the attack roll, remember? Yeah, I just, I just laugh. <laughs> I laugh when you know, I keep just making these like really nervous like laughter like ch in the space at this one point time I get away with it. Yeah. Like, I'm going I'm going to say I'm going to say for flavour. <laughs> I'm going to say for flavour. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say for <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> I'm going to say for flavour uh, that uh, he, he missed them ones. It's clearly down to the runes being destroyed and weakening them. <laughs> Yeah, and then just to rub it in, I'm going to use one of my superiority dice and take a reaction, which is called rep the post action. Mm -hmm. Which is, after using up my reaction, it's basically like doing an like opportunity style attack without having to walk away. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a short version of it. Because you missed me, I'm going to try. You'll have a go at by this of being basic. You attack how many times? <laughs> like every. Yeah, that's, that's battle mass. Oh, I haven't picked it up properly. It's in post. Um, but basically, yeah, we've read it before, don't worry. Mm. We've read it before. Yeah. So, I'm going to try again. <laughs> I'm going to try the flavour, I'm going to shake the beard if I hit him. Oh! <laughs> shake that beard, that'll work. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to try again. Oh, that's going to be a hit. Yeah, that's going to be a hit. Oh, I'm going to try again. Yeah, 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 i so that's 12. I get two more damage. <laughs> more the D8 for the damage part. D8. Oh, I forgot so I'm going to put the slash in. D8. Uh, so that was 16 damage on my... <laughs> my severe damage here, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm now getting cocky, but it's now going to be cowardly shaking and then it's just the actual cocky laughter. Like, <laughs> Well, he, he was already extremely agitated because the runes have been knacked and he was concentrating on that and missed with his swings on you and now you've just hit him really bloody hard and he's he's looking worse for wear. A very worse for wear. <laughs> Repost. Repost. When a creature misses you with a melee attack, you can use your reaction and spend one superiority dice to make a melee weapon attack against the creature. If you hit, you add the superiority dice to your attack roll. Your tax damage roll. Yeah. I know, it's nice, isn't it? 
Yeah. So. I'm only one left, guys. But I've been saving them for these guys. So we're now on to Garrick. And that was his turn as well, wasn't it? He was yours. He doing extra damage on yep. his turn. Yep. Yep. saving throw of DC 13. Given the rune is inactive, I guess it can't make a dexterity save. Do no, I... When, when, uh, Roll dead. No, just... Yeah, no. It, yes, that's the that's the, the, the devil making a dexterity saving throw. Yeah. Failed. Sure. Now roll... Um, okay. Inhale 5. Check that five, a bit. Uh, Check that out. <laughs> I press the word button. Press um, the button damage. I'm trying to place this marker thing, but it seems to. Right. Marker's going in the wrong direction, so ignore it. That's okay. So, uh, given that the. Seven. Beard Devil fail, it should take seven, and so should the rune. Is that right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Don't think you need to worry about the. Uh, and that quite unless the. Uh, Unless the lightning breath's going to reach across the, to the other rune, I don't think you need to worry about the. No. <laughs> yeah, I'll allow that to hit the rune. So that's seven on the rune. Sweet. And seven on him. On him. <laughs> alright then, alright, alright. Uh, so with that, you hit, and he, he goes, Puny humans. I'll be back as long as there's power. I will return. And dies. Well, so it goes back to where he came from. <laughs> How are we puny humans? Like, we've just kicked his ass. Mm -hmm. Well, he's a big but nasty demon guy, and it's the way he has to... He's not going to say he's a puny demon. Uh, with that, and Helen's reappearing, but she's basically give up now she just says please just just leave us just go I uh I walk towards this ruin and just start punching it and don't stop punching it until it's <laughs> utterly pulverised okay why why must you torment me rest you my dear you must have rest this is not the way to live or unlive as you may be. And then after that's destroyed I'm with the group, so I'm not as I'd like I walk over this room and do exactly the same thing. Use <laughs> my key. I mean like use my energy to just punch the rune until it destroyed. <laughs> with precision and calmness. Not like anger, just precision just like calmly bang, 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 bang. You know, with monk finesse and precision. Oh, no. No, why? Why did you do this? And fades away. <laughs> so with that, you feel the curse has been lifted. You could, however, do some other stuff. I mean, you've got countless bodies. <laughs> uh, or you could just leave. It's entirely up to you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, a good I'm time to basically go and basically scavenge around the house and see what we can <laughs> find. Picking up all I your would, um, picking up all your valuables. I take out all the bodies and make sure that they're properly laid to rest um, in the appropriate. I imagine a good distance from the house. So you know? you're picking up you're picking up Helen's body, Joshua's body, going upstairs and picking up oh. the the dude in the dining room full of knives and forks. <laughs> I'm yeah. basically just take one at a time out 
and lay them out and then do the proper funeral rites and then build a pyre and burn them. Uh, I'm missing somebody. No, I'm not. There you are. Uh, well, there you go. You're back out in the town. You've brought the dead out. Everyone sensing that something has changed because has come out. Uh, the people whose relatives you've brought out, they're all elated that they can now let them rest in peace. They can give them a proper burial and they reward you handsomely uh, with between the lot of them i'd say another 400 gold for bringing out their relatives and everybody thanks you yeah, I, I, was gonna, eh? I, I wouldn't have burned the bodies i would know enough about the religion to know if it was appropriate to burn the bodies because i know in some cultures burning bodies is not appropriate. yeah so I but yeah, you were, you were all you're all thanked from the bottom of everybody's hearts. They've rewarded you with a hundred gold. They've sort of all scraped together to give you uh, because I give my, my portion of gold back. My reward. I did this not for reward, but for, because it was the right thing to do. And, and you are you are essentially now and forever this town's. Heroes. <laughs> Yay! Does this mean we can now go to the bar with the topless ladies and? Yeah. <laughs> well, I have the notice. I'm in two places at once, so there's now two of me. Well, yeah, because I copied you and put you into. Oh, you're down at the bottom as well. Oh, I'm over there and over there. <laughs> it's a recording. Um, thank you very much for that. That was good fun. Really good fun. I really enjoyed that. Yes, I enjoyed it too. Thank you. There we go. Uh, oh, Raylan was never here. <laughs> so, uno momento. Uh, copy Raylan. Come back over to the tavern. And skadoosh, there you is. And uh, there we go. The barmaid and come out and give you some food <laughs> and drink and mead and grog and whatever it is that you desire. They are giving you free, free on the house for tonight because you've saved the eternal souls of the relatives who were trapped in the restroom manor. <laughs> so congratulations guys, you should be elated and over the moon that you've done a great job and nobody died. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm glad, oh no way, I know Bob you've said that it was enjoyable, I hope it was enjoyable for everybody else and when the videos are up on YouTube I hope everybody on YouTube enjoyed my video and hopefully there will be more to come in the future. <laughs> yeah, enjoyed it very much, thank you. Good, good. So from Quinn, Dawn, Helen, Bob and myself, Craig, the party unicorn, I say thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. 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 Ciao.